So smart building technology can really help you get a handle on your energy consumption. There's a lot of automation, automated systems that can adjust lighting, heating, cooling, based on real-time occupancy data, um, external environmental conditions. I know here in the Pacific Northwest, we deal a lot with wildfire smoke, so that IAQ. Um, and a smart building also can um, reduce energy waste and lower operational costs. Um, tagging onto that, I think a lot about um, sustainability and environmental impact. I'm sure a lot of people are hearing ESG is all over the place, you know, so as we start thinking about the smart building's connection to those goals, um, as you improve your energy efficiency and your resource management, you know, even outside of energy, um, smart buildings really contribute to reduced carbon footprints and overall environmental impact that I mentioned earlier. So these are gonna be essential for meeting both internal and external sustainability goals and a lot of new policy. I think that we'll weave that in a little bit later as well, more specific policies, but there's a lot of um, building performance standard, benchmark, uh, benchmarking requirements. So smart building technologies when deployed you know, properly and as a tool for those managing the buildings can make um, <clears throat> adhering with those policies more achievable. Um, and of course, cost savings, right? Like everyone, I'm all about saving energy, but if you save energy, you're gonna save money. Um, so if you're optimizing your energy usage, um, you're using predictive maintenance, um, and you're thinking about how you're allocating your resources, the smart building technology can really lead to significant cost savings as you layer you know, the energy savings, staff resource time, uh, resource savings on capital improvements, if you're again using that preventive maintenance technology, um, right? And then I always love to drive home the human factor in this. So improved comfort and productivity for your occupants. Um, smart building systems can really create more of a comfortable, healthier environment for occupants. And that is in high demand. I mean, the pandemic did one thing, it made occupants really aware of their environments, you know, what is in the air that I'm breathing? Is there accurate, you know, is there um, adequate ventilation? Um, is the lighting good? You know, how can I, there's a big focus on mental well being, physical well being for your occupants. And then, you know, that also leads to increased productivity when people are comfortable in their environment, happy, they feel more productive um, and satisfied. And Phil touched on, you know, you want those leases renewed if you're if you're an investor or a building owner. So, and ultimately, I don't want to lose sight of these technologies should make the lives of those who are managing the building, so facility managers, building operators, it should eventually make their life easier, right? There's going to be a learning curve, um, but I think that's often a challenge, and I'll, we can talk more about that later. But ultimately, we want to we want the technologies to be making the lives of the occupant and those who are operating the building easier once they get up, you know, through that learning curve of these new technologies.